Hello Elsa, uh, I decided to specifically record this video for you because of the question you asked. I'm very impressed that you are following and Happy New Year. So first of all, to begin with, I'm very certain that you, you are sure that the resultant force or the net force is given by the rate of change of momentum. So this one is fine. Uh, the net force... I think we had found this to be 0 0.36, that is the was loss in kinetic energy. We found this as 0 0.34, and we know that the net force, the net force is given by the rate of change of momentum, that is change in momentum over time. And this was 0 0.34 divided by the time was 0 0.081 which gave us the net force as 2.4 newtons. That was net force, resultant force. Now, you look at this ball here. When it is in contact with the surface, its weight is acting vertically downwards. That is mg. It is, its weight is acting vertically downwards. That is going to be like the action. But on impact, the ball experiences a resultant force. The flow is exerting a force on the ball in the opposite direction. If there is a resultant force, these two forces are not equal. So this is the force by the flow. The force by the flow. So there is a force exerted on the ball by the flow in the opposite direction. If there is a resultant, then the weight and the force by the flow are not equal. But remember how we find the resultant force. Resultant force... The resultant force is going to be equal to the difference between the force caused by the flow minus the weight because they're in opposite directions. And the resultant force is 4.2. This should be equal to the force by the flow minus the weight, which weight is mg. And m was, I think, 0 0.062. Then times G, which is 9.81. So now you see how this one goes the other side, and we have that the force exerted on the flow is equal to 4.2 plus 0 0.062 times 9.81. So you see why we added. The resultant force is going to be the difference between the force exerted by the flow on the ball minus the weight of the ball downwards. And since we already have the resultant force, then you see that this um, the weight goes the other side, and then we have addition. I think that is that is made clear. Have a blessed day. Thank you.